helping when it does trigonometry or it does calculations for trigonometry. So I'm going to be making some numbers up here. So let's say that we know that this angle and this right triangle is, let's say, 70 degrees. Now, if we know that, well, then we would know that this other one right up here would have to be 20 degrees, but that's not what I'm going over today. In any case, uh, we'll get rid of that. Go away. There we go. All right, so again, we have this angle down here. We know it's 70 degrees. So if we go to our calculator and we want to calculate the sine of 70 degrees, okay, we would first want to make sure that our calculator is on uh, degree mode. So we'd hit mode. And then right down here, if you can see, it's radian and degree. Make sure it's on degree. And again, let's say we want to do sine of 70. We get 0.9396 and so on. Let's say about 0.94. What this is saying is that back on this drawing, if you remember that sine is opposite over hypotenuse, Okay, that's part of Soka Toa. So when we get this answer, sine of 70 equals 0.94, if we make that decimal look like a fraction by putting it over 1, then we can kind of see that the opposite side would be 0.94 and the hypotenuse would be 1. So in this diagram, opposite the 70 degree angle would be 0.94 and the hypotenuse would be 1. Okay, let's just, uh, let me show you the cosine of 70. Cosine 70, 0.34. So that means, again, cosine of 70 would be the adjacent over hypotenuse. So our answer of 0.34, if we make that over 1, we could then find the adjacent side to 70, which would be this side right here. So this would be 0.34, and the hypotenuse is still 1. And then the same thing can be done for tangent, um, opposite over adjacent. Um, but I just wanted to show you what the calculator was doing when it was calculating these trigonometry calculations.